Mr. Trump, my name is Ricardo Fernandez and I speak to you as a Mexican. No, I'm not here to tell you that we hate you. No, I'm not here to say that you're ignorant or stupid. Because you're not. Because no one who has accomplished what you have in becoming the leader of the world's most influential country could ever be stupid. But I am here to tell you that you are making a mistake. One perhaps that has its roots in misinformation. And you know what I'm talking about. The wall. Because the wall you plan on building is much more than just layers of layers of bricks spanning across our vast frontier. This wall you plan on building goes beyond our physical borders. It will divide the foundations of the relationship between both our countries. A relationship that has greatly benefited us both, Mexico and the United States. You might think that we Mexicans have gotten the better of this relationship, that we have been a burden to you all along. And this is where you are mistaken. For decades, Mexicans have provided the U.S. with inputs which have helped consolidate your country's economy. We help make your prices more competitive. We are vast consumers by purchasing nearly $200 billion in U.S. export every year. That's more than France, Germany, Japan, and the U.K. combined. It is 80% of your yearly exports, a demand which has helped create 6 million jobs in the United States. And we are your third major trading partner behind China and your other next door neighbor, Canada. As the successful businessman that you are, you must understand how valuable all this is. Our shared border sees the crossing of one million people every day in both directions, while our commercial relations generate one million dollars per minute. Just during the time that you have been listening to me, we have generated over two million dollars in trade. Through cultural exchange, we have influenced each other greatly. I am sure that if you reflect on this, you will understand that we are not holding you back. And united, we can continue to be great partners, as well as social, economic, and political allies. And yet, now you intend on closing your doors on us and opening them to countries which are and have been so distant to yours in more ways than one that it is hard to understand. But Mexico has overcome greater walls. And on this side, you will not see the division some may expect. Because through hard times, we have proven to be united. We are strong and proud of what we are. And not a person, not a wall, no matter how high, could ever destroy what we, together, have built. Thank you for listening, and God bless Mexico.